do another episode. This will Tahoe. And today we're uh, it's Tahoe time. And I got a stack of new tires to go on the old girl. Uh, a couple things have changed with the Tahoe since you last saw her. It's been a while, so Okay let me guys, show you. we're uh before we get this video too far along, we gotta announce uh, a winner here. Uh, a number of videos ago on the on the Tahoe I said, I wanna know what that means. And the first person to say that gets uh a hearty hello, and that's Paradox Designs. Long time Holmes Motorsports slash NRH BMW subscriber. Thank you for watching once again. And he tells us the name Tahoe comes from a mispronunciation of the Washoe, Native American name for Lake Tahoe, uh, or Taoaga, which means edge of the lake. Edge of the lake, that's what Tahoe means. Thanks for watching. And also, shout out to Joseph from Saint Malo, Manitoba. You're asking if I'm still making YouTube videos? Well, here it is, son. And uh, coming from Grunthal, Manitoba, I know a little bit about Sam Alo. So Ball starting uh, under the hood, the intake manifold is, is well sealed now, all good, everybody's happy. And you know, things are almost kind of clean under here, I'd say. Yeah, I got the gaskets done. I did have one other coolant leak, a uh, little surprise. And that was actually down there, the uh, um, heater control valve was leaking, so I had to replace that for about $13. So in total underhood parts, I've probably got, I don't know, including the intake bolts, gaskets, coolant, fluids, 100 bucks total for everything. So not too bad. The truck does drive pretty well. There is something loose in the front end, and I'm pretty sure it's the upper ball joints, but we're going to figure that out 100% today because there's no sense in me installing those new tires when I'm just going to shred them off anyway. That's just, that's not good sense. And of course, you saw the seats in this truck last time. Well... Guess what? They've changed. Oh, oh, I'm locked out, but I'll show you through the window. I got these pickup truck seats. These are off an older model, um, but they work well, and they match my funky red interior. So that's good. Um, 100 bucks took those. It was either that or I'd buy just the lower seat mat, just the leather, for $300. Like, are you serious? And try and find a set of leather Chevy truck seats that are still not destroyed. Impossible. Inconceivable. So yeah, today we got some ball joints to install. I'll show you here. Sorry to make you dizzy there. Uh, we got some AC Delchco um, ball joints to install. Gonna be doing that. One of my wheel studs was kaput. We're gonna fix that. And uh, this episode is sponsored in part by Fram. Sorry, it's the best I can afford. Uh, it's fuel filter time probably. This truck does have an extremely noisy fuel pump. I don't know if I've shown that, but I'll have to. And oh, today, once again, we're at an undisclosed vehicle dealership. And uh, working away here on a Saturday with, with Mark. He's just stepped out for a minute. Um, so we'll update you along the way here. It's shop day. Oh, okay guys, we've got helper Mark here. I think this might be our front end problem. That upper ball might, might just need to be replaced. So uh, what's funny is I was grabbing this wheel side to side, trying to get it to go and there's nothing. So I'm like, well, it must be the bushings. But now we know that that's toast. We're going to check the other side as well, but whew, am I relieved? <laughs> okay, we got that ball joint in there. Thanks again to Mark for uh, helping us out with that. And new tires are on as well. Let's, uh, let's take a little look. So these are the... Uh... See, so these are general tires. They look an awful lot like a BF Goodrich Altering. And these are the General Grabber AT2s. And, uh, you know, they're, this is an E-rated tire, um, but uh, decent tread blocks, you can stud them. I'm not going to, as fun as that would be. So I think these are going to be a little better than these Federale tires that were on here and just, just garbage. Just terrible. And uh, the, the shot ball joint didn't help the length of these tires, I'm sure. Mark, what's going on over here? Now it's ever gasket. VCG, eh? Oh snap. Here you go. You adjusted the timing belt, now we put the gasket back on. So attentive. Well, this is what, well first of all let's take it all in. This is your Civic. But this isn't the original engine, I understand, right? That is correct. What is this thing? This is a V18C out of an Acura Integra no. GSR. Where does this thing rev to, like 9 grand? Almost like 85. Okay, and what did they put down for power back then, 160? 170? Oh my. Nice, so it spins them. <laughs> oh my goodness, would you look at those brake calipers. That's racing red, Honda fans. 
So for today, that's pretty much it. We're going to do uh, not a whole lot more today. I've got another project on the way. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all for the Tahoe right now. What is going to be happening is uh, Randy, you remember the Subaru, he is, uh, he's going to his new a new home. Randy, we found you a home. Aren't you glad? And uh, unfortunately, that's all for Mark today, too. He's just polishing up his Civic. Bye. Some people do that. Um, so there's a new project on the way, and uh, we're going to have to come up with a name. So there'll be a name of the vehicle contest very shortly, as soon as I get home, because apparently this new vehicle has appeared while we were filming this. I know. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.